as you can see on the map. Um, we're five undocumented students and an ally that have been walking from that bay, from California, from the Golden Gate Bridge, and we're heading all the way to um, Washington, D.C. We're going to get there around November 2nd. We're going to cover over 200 communities, and here we are. It's been a week, more than a week here in, in Salt Lake City, and, and you know, just seeing the beautiful people that are surrounding me right now with the support, and I really appreciate that. I, I'm really blessed, a blessed just to have you guys here. So thank you so much for being here once again. Yeah. I'm going to pass it around to Nicolas Gonzalez. He's one of the walkers, and he's going to talk more about the campaign. So once again, guys, thank you for coming. Um, and just to talk a little bit about the campaign and what we have been doing is, um, and just a little bit about how we came together was through uh, basically social media. You know, we, we understood that our communities are suffering, that we as undocumented youth and allies are suffering, and that we need to stop that. That we were not no longer going to sit back and wait and let someone decide our future for us. So a week before March, uh, March 10th, we all met up. We had never met before. We had been on conference calls. We had added each other on Facebook, but we had not met in person. From then on, we knew that this journey was going to be long, but we knew that it was going to be something that our communities need. So, um, yeah, basically we began uh, walking March 10th. Um, and what the campaign stands for, um, it stands that we are fighting for the Federal DREAM Act. We really are educating our communities on what the Federal DREAM Act is, and on it's just basic things like know your rights, because we know that right now our communities are being targeted um, not only by ICE, but by certain groups, right? There's no more people like, like me here, or like So, um, yeah, it's very strategic. Our goal is to get to D.C. November 2nd, four days before election, because just like presidents have elections, the legislators have elections, uh, I mean, they have campaigns, we have a campaign as well to let them know that we are here, and this is who we are, and that we are the face to a lot of young people who want to continue just their education. Um, and so here we are, we're in Salt Lake City, today is month two, we're two months into our campaign. Um, we still got six more months to go, 2,100 miles, approximately. Uh, to go and so just understanding that our journey still continues and right now we're we're very blessed to be here in Salt Lake City uh, and all the support that we've had from members in the community um, and yeah just to go on uh, with what's going to happen next we're going to have uh, two students uh, two very courageous uh, women who are going to come and share their stories uh, in front of you and we know that for the past uh, Two or three years we've been sharing our stories as a documented youth as a student because we understand that we're using our stories as a student. We struggle to what people call criminals, illegals. We are not criminals, we're not illegals, no human beings are illegal. And so we're just here and I'm going to pass it back to Alex and I want to thank everyone in the house of the campaign for an American dream for coming to uh, our Utah's first coming out of the shadow stand. And you know, this is just planting the seeds for change and what we really want in this country. So thank you everyone who's gonna come out and speak and everyone um, who's gonna share this information and go home and and continue passing on and educating people on our stories and why we use our stories. So